the questions have come to me we again have seven questions how to stay committed to daily sadhana yeah that's a very appropriate question for today's class see it's a matter of will isn't it hmm? if you strongly will that this is the priority of my life this is what i want to achieve then you will stay on the path of sadhana but if that will is not fixed if it's uh, dilute then of course you uh, well you require constantly to somebody to push you into it see all this is not required in the life of a serious aspirant you know what you want to achieve you know where you want to go no matter what you achieve in this life it is limited only to this life please see this and ultimately it's unfulfilling even in, even for this life it's not going to go with you anything of this world is not going to go with you so what will you carry with you that is why please become serious about spiritual life we must not say oh i could not do it today it's a self defeatist attitude you know you can't say that you in fact you should be able to say i will be able to do this every day some of my very good students say this in spite of their very heavy schedule and routine they say no mata ji this we are going to do so don't let this go it's something very precious fix your will that's the most important thing once you have made the sankalp you will not move away from it whenever your will is faltering you must fix it this is what i will do then your it will drag your emotions and your thoughts and everything into that so fixing the will is the way to commit yourself to daily sadhana then as you said earlier culture awareness what does it mean and how to practice yes this is the question it's a very important question see pure awareness does not require culturing you are that always the whole problem is you have identified with your mind the thoughts in your mind so now you have identified with the clouds rather than the sun you have identified with the clouds in the sky so these clouds if you give them space they will they will show you the sun from time to time so this is sadhana is means this you are clearing the clouds so here then we say you are culturing awareness you are getting glimpses of pure being by clearing the clouds in the mind so we use these words for that uh, growing in awareness culturing awareness it only means this much you are bringing your mind to a level of refinement which shows you the very depths of your mind awareness rather than just the thought process in your mind actually speaking vedanta does not give ontological primacy to mind that is why you will not find mind based sadhanas although the prakriyas are ultimately to do with uh, mind activity they but they help you transcend mind but yoga the, the psychology and philosophy of yoga patanjali yoga sutras or raj yoga that give, has given ontological primacy to mind to prakriti that is why it will use such terms culturing awareness clearing the mind vedanta does not actually believe in mind isn't it the ultimate truth according to vedanta is consciousness not mind the ultimate is brahman prakriti has no place there so it does not talk too much of culturing awareness such things or does not actually give ontological reality to mind but we being ordinary human beings doing a little bit of sadhana somehow trying to find our way uh, trying to get this insight into reality we you will proceed only through mind that is why you use yoga as a way towards a, a stepping stone towards vedant that is why you adopt techniques like clearing mind silencing mind culturing awareness clearing the clouds so that you are able to see the sun you use such language so this is what i mean the final insight will show you that only awareness is the reality you are only aware thoughts come and move out of come and go in that awareness they don't actually have reality but just now we are terribly identified with them 
that is the whole problem that is why we proceed you know we are uh, working topsy turvy actually we are identified with identified with something we are not so then you require such processes to take you out of that identification so that is why we use terms like culturing awareness actually speaking there is no culturing awareness pure awareness is all that there is nothing else actually exists because nothing else is permanent it nothing else has independent reality but the mind is too clouded and dense to intuit this in first person experience that is why all these methods techniques then the third question i don't know how much you got out of this but i am telling you from inside that this is the actual uh, whole problem that is why we use yoga yogic means towards vedantic ends the third question is my past actions stop my mind doing good actions how to overcome that you must fix your will and do the right actions good actions they will gradually help you uh, overcome the tendencies towards bad actions and help you overcome that bad karma if you just sit and say oh i have no inclination to do anything uh, that's a tamasic state of mind at least do something and if you if you commit yourself fix your will and keep doing good that's why i always recommend karma yoga you must keep on doing good actions whether you like it or not whether somebody advised you or not whether uh, you have the energy or not keep doing it for heaven's sake that creates the foundation for the higher life so you must fix your will on this on all these matters you see it is only the committed will that takes the sadhak ahead because your emotions will always be saying something your thoughts something else your the opinions of the people around you will be something else to whom will you cater cater to stop all this activity and commit your will to the highest and go by that will this is how success is born you see the lives of all successful people this is how they proceed if you keep listening to your emotions every day they will give you a different idea so that's the answer and the fourth question is who is the seeker of self <laughs> our mind body or the awareness itself so just now the jiva is seeking self knowledge isn't it the jiva is that entity who is identified with the body mind complex who thinks he is the uh, enjoyer of the fruits of actions he is the doer so this deluded sense of being which is identified with the body and mind that is seeking the true knowledge of the self the the atman the jiva is seeking self knowledge once you transcend your jiva hood which means disidentification from the body mind complex merely you will see you are verily what you are seeking you are verily the self and you know it only by being the self there is this beautiful observation by jalaluddin rumi he says i knocked and the door opened and then i realized i was knocking from inside you are knocking from within but you just now you are sort of identified with the body mind complex think and see how strange this phenomenon is but it's happening to us so that's why we say aim at self knowledge the self that you already are the fifth question is as you said regulation of life is important how is it related with spiritualizing each and every moment of life see when you develop satvic habits it helps your mind stay in in touch and in tune with your spiritual ideal isn't it hmm? if the habits are not satvic if the habits are rajasic or tamasic you cannot stay in touch with your spiritual ideal mentally so that is why i recommend life regulation first the first two classes have been devoted to this isn't it learning to think positively and rightly and the basics of sadhana this is what we have dwelt upon then only we can take up the study of the upanishads sometimes i get lazy mata ji how do i shake it off bring into your mind the taste of the higher life the taste of those satvic moments which you have felt and you will shake it off naturally hmm? keep your vitality optimal 
through good habits, sattvic habits, sattvic diet and you can shake off laziness. So, you will have to do it uh, and do not think uh, you can do without it. A tamasic mind will understand nothing of Vedanta. Then the seventh question is, what is one most important thing Mataji for success in sadhana? The most important thing is earnestness, sincerity, fixing your will. Sri Ramakrishna used to say Vyakulata, is not it? Hmm? That is the most important precondition for sadhana. You are utterly sincere and hence Vyakul. So Vyakul that tears come in your eyes when you speak of the spiritual ideal. You are so intense about it from within yourself. In fact, if you read Sri Ramakrishna's life, you will understand what I am talking about. Only Vyakulata will take you to the goal. This, this inner intensity, I have understood the level of experience in this material world. What next is there? I intensely want to know that. And what after all am I going to carry with me? I intensely want to know that. So bringing your, you know such people are very calm by nature but the vitality is just blooming. Vital energy is very high. So try to manufacture this state within yourself where you are intensely vyakul which, do, which does not mean you are intensely jittery or overactive on the outer front. You are deeply calm but intensely vyakul, intensely earnest and yearning for the higher goal. If this is happening in your system, you know Sri Ramakrishna used to say it is like the rosy dawn, the rosy pink color which comes. Now you know the sun is going to rise. So please bring these states into your spiritual practice. If every day you are practicing, after some time you cannot stop the practice because it is helping you grow, is not it? Every day you will start feeling it. I am getting something out of it, how can I stop it? So then you are continuously earnest, vyakul, yearning for the higher goal and naturally the goal will come. Uh, Sri Ramakrishna's life, Vivekananda's life, please capture those uh, times, th that period of their life when they were into sadhana and you will see what I mean. You must shake away everything as people who want to do things, uh, this also and that also and bit by bit, they fall short of the ideal. You must awaken your entire vital energy and direct it towards the spiritual goal with intense yearning which means your heart is crying for spiritual experience and it will come, it is bound to come. Sri Ramakrishna used to say he hears everything, God hears everything, even the footfall of an ant. So will he not hear our prayers, will he not he see our earnestness? If it is there, you are going straight to him, there is no doubt about it. So all the requirement for success in sadhana is this much only, you intensely yearn for the spiritual goal of your life. If that is there, your emotions will fall in place, your thoughts will fall in place, your will will get fixed, your, the ambience around you will become very sattvic and you proceed into the depths of sadhana. So you have to create this in your homes, in your life, by yourself. The classes are only, you can take the cue, you can take the inspiration from here, but it is a do it yourself technique. I pass on the baton to you, you must do it yourself, that is sadhana.